Tonight, Kansas leaders are trying to figure out what's next after suspicious packages showed up in the mailboxes of elected officials this past weekend. The joint Republican leadership in Kansas called it a cowardly attempt to intimidate the legislature. So working for you tonight, Fox 4's Reagan Porter talked with one state lawmaker in Great Bend who thinks she's being targeted. Reagan is live in KCK tonight. Reagan, what have you learned about what was in that package? Yeah, we're told there were more than 100 envelopes containing a suspicious powdery substance and a threatening letter. And now I'm going to be thinking twice before I open up my mail or talk to uh, certain strangers. Representative Tori Marie Blue got this envelope in the mail Friday. Thick on one end, the Barton County Sheriff warned her not to open it and called the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. And said, get it out of your car, get it outside and um, get it away from anybody. She threw it in her mom's flower pot and hazmat showed up. Kansas Republican leaders say at this point, more than 100 state and legislative officials have received threatening letters filled with a suspicious powdery substance. And I had two events I had to go to. They were family events, but still I was shook up whenever I saw somebody I didn't know. Blue says she's grateful she got a heads up not to open the envelope, but other lawmakers did not and found this letter inside. It said, don't choke on your uh, ambition. The return address is a local church in her hometown, and the name belongs to a transgender person who has died. Blue says other lawmakers have similar stories. She believes the sender could be targeting lawmakers who supported the Save Girls Sports Bill and Women's Bill of Rights. Both of those we overrode the governor's veto on, and, and we've been told that was an attack on transgender individuals. And so I think that is where they're coming from, but I don't know. The joint Republican legislative leadership said in a statement, while we don't yet know who is behind this threat, our members will not be intimidated by extremists who look to undermine the will of the people we were elected to serve. Now, the KDHE is saying the powder does not seem to be harmful. Kevin, the investigation continues. Thank you, Reagan. Reagan Porter live in KCK.